Hello, and welcome to the Greater Statesville Chamber of Commerce 2024 Candidate Podcast. I'm William Morgan. We have the opportunity to interview candidates who are running for local, state, and federal office. And we're pleased to be joined today by Beverly Maurice, who's running for Iredo County Commissioner. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about Beverly. Well, I'm originally from New York, and I probably shouldn't have said that. That's okay. And I am happy to be a resident of Statesville, and I have decided to run for Iredell County Commissioner because I want to see how many ways I can make Iredell stronger, healthier, and better for all of its citizens, not just some, but all of them. This is, a, it's not a decision you come to lightly, I mean, because it's its a huge task. It's a, it's a big responsibility. Um, have you had any previous experience? Have you done anything like this in the past, volunteer work or, or any type of civic boards or anything of that nature? I have done so much volunteer work and continue to do so much volunteer work. As a matter of fact, my parents of blessed memory um, had gotten me a notepad to stick on my refrigerator that said, stop me, help, I can't stop volunteering. <laughs> so um, on my list of volunteer work, I have been president and lay clergy of Congregation Emmanuel here in Statesville for the last eight years. Wow. I keep begging them, please fire, terminate, behead me, whatever you need to do. No such luck. I am the chair of Iredell's Clergy for Healing and Justice, Inc. It's incorporated. I am a volunteer on the committee for Iredell's Walk to End Alts, short for Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. I am a Holocaust educator. I am now an Alzheimer's educator. I volunteer once in a while at uh, Fifth Street Ministries. I am a high school substitute teacher. Um, I can probably think of a few more things. I'm a member of the NAACP here. I could keep going. So in your spare time? In my I'm spare kidding. time, I decided <laughs> to run for Iredell County Commissioner. Actually, what happened is a few years ago, I was kind of fed up with our government and the politics in general. And so I did a lot of praying. And at first I said, you know what, I'm going to move out of this country altogether. And then I said, no, I need to stay here and see how I can make my little piece of the world a better place. Mm -hmm. And the opportunity was handed to me, literally handed to me, mm -hmm. and I grabbed it. Good for you. Um, as I like to say, I'm a recovering politician. I served on Statesville City Council, and I'm used to kid all of my friends on the county commission that you don't do anything. Uh, you know, you don't build roads like we do. You don't have water. You don't have sewer. You don't have electric. You're not picking up trash. Um, what do you think is the most important role of a, a county commissioner? I think one of the most important roles would be to find the right people for the right jobs underneath them. For example, we have the ever-evolving high school that has not come to be. Mm -hmm. And there's a money problem, a monetary problem with it. There was $8 million budget put in place to build it. $8 million, $80 million, excuse me, $80 million is not going to build that high school. So how do you build it? First of all, you have to raise more funds. But the most important thing is you need a project manager a well-experienced project manager. That's not going to be a county commissioner. That's going to be, as I said, an experienced project manager who knows how to do those numbers. So you need someone like me who's been a president of an organization, a chair of another organization, chair of multiple organizations, who knows how to delegate, who knows how to pull the right people who know their jobs to get me the proper information. You know, Iredell County is certainly a unique county in that um, north of I-40 is very agrarian. South of I-40 um, is, is bustling with economic activity. States full of certainly having their share. Um, we want to see economic growth. We mm -hmm. want to see uh, prosperity there. But at the same time, we also want to respect our farmers yes. and make sure that we still have our, our farmland. Um, how do you balance that? 
So it's absolutely mandatory and critical that we keep that farmland. I mean, I like to eat. I think you like to eat. Mm -hmm. And we... I think that's obvious. <laughs> wasn't saying that. Wasn't saying that. Uh, it's obvious in this case, too. So we need to make sure that we are taking care of our farmers in terms of keeping the farmland farmland, um, thinking about doing what Mooresville is doing with um, they have a, a they've developed an ordinance for open and unopened markets in limited towns um, during weekdays, etc. so that they can sell their products. Um, we need to look at the traffic. We need to look at transportation as well and see how that's affecting um, whether people can get to and from the markets, to and from their jobs. Mm -hmm. That's one of the big critical issues okay. here in Iredell County. Of course, one of the responsibilities of a county commissioner is they set the tax rate. Mm -hmm. um, I believe Iredell County, and I was corrected earlier, I think we're 21st uh, lowest tax rate out of 100 counties. Do you think the tax rate is where it should be? Is it too high? Is it too low? Um, honestly, it's probably too low. To, to accomplish what we need to accomplish, it, it needs to probably go up. And I know people are going to hate me for saying that, but realistically... It's going to need to go up. We need to bring in, because of the development of more houses, we need to build yet another high school, two more elementary schools, another middle school, which means we need another sheriff's department, another health department, another fire department, at least one more fire department. For all these services... Mm -hmm. We need to raise the taxes, unfortunately, because it's not the new homes that are going to bring in the taxes. It's the current homes that are going to help bring in the new services. As you've been campaigning and talking to constituents, uh, what do you think is the most pressing issue in Iredell County? So I've heard from several people. Several people have asked for something to do in terms of animal population control. I've had people ask me, can we bring in an adult daycare because of the high numbers of people with dementia, et cetera, or mental health problems um, that are preventing them from working their jobs full time. So we need some respite for those people. And, of course, the farmers have been asking for, for help. So those are the three main things that people have been asking me for. Okay. Um, it, as you are aware, with your experience on boards and, and running organizations, you've got to get people to agree to move forward. How would you build consensus on the board? So to build consensus on the board, people have to understand that we are a team. And you have to understand that you can't win individually and you can't win every battle. But I have to be able to win some battles and you have to use a lot of logic. And you have to be willing to say, OK, I'm not going to win this round, but I'm going to win this one. And here's all my logic and here's all my reasons and here's all my data. Mm -hmm. And please don't let emotions be what leads you. Sure. So in the moments we have left, why vote for Beverly? Because Beverly cares about not only the citizens here in Statesville, just because I live here, but it's the citizens in Mooresville. It's the citizens in Olin, Union Grove, Harmony, Turnersburg, just all the citizens. I think everyone here in Iredell County deserves a fair shot and should have the right to transportation to be able to access everything that any other person can. 
Well, we, we certainly appreciate your enthusiasm. We appreciate your willingness to, to hopefully serve. Uh, and we wish you well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having mm -hmm. me today.